I want to welcome you to this moment of adoration. Uh, we are going to worship together uh, through music with our souls as well. We can sing uh, in silence. <laughs> and, uh, and I invite you to join me as I play the piano. You can uh, sing with your heart. Uh, Sometimes when I tell my wife I want to sing, she says, God has given different gifts to different people. <laughs> so I don't understand that. He says, it's better you play. But you know that it's true. So I invite you this evening that as you listen to this music, you can ask the Lord, Lord, what kind of gift you want to give me or you have given me that you want me to use it for your service? And as you do that, the Lord will reveal to you what's the ministry that God has for you in the church. What I'm certain is that God doesn't have a position of tourism. God has a place for each of us to serve Him, to advance His, uh, His work uh, in this earth until Jesus comes. So everything that you're going to hear is only for the honor and glory of God. And uh, as we begin this concert, and I want to start with this beautiful song that it speaks that everything that we do, that we have, is to exalt Him. He is exalted, and um, this is a medley with uh, Great is the Lord. Thank you. 
uh, th this song is, uh, has a very beautiful message, and uh, it's accompanied of a video. And as you look or at the images, try to feel how God wants to talk to you, sometimes not through your iPhone, not through your computer, but through His creation. And the words of this song says, be still my soul. Be still my soul. You know, I have needed this message so many times in my life. Be still my soul. Stop watching the computer. Stop watching, stop watching the iPhone. Probably the bird that is singing outside. Probably the silence that is around you. Probably the mist of the morning that surround, is surrounding your house. Probably through nature, God is whispering in your soul, be still. Be still, I am the Lord. It says, be still, my soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend, through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. No matter what you are going through, if you are with God, the end will be joyful. That is for certain. That's guaranteed. So let's meditate on the words and the images that you're going to see.
these next songs uh, speaks about uh, the best gift that we have we could have ever received, and is the gift of uh, eternal life through Jesus Christ. And I just want I just want to share with you that about uh, 25, 24 years ago, a miracle happened in my home. You will see my parents there. That's my parents a few years ago. Uh, he's a pastor in Guatemala. My mom, he just finished, he, she only finished high school. But one day, they took one of the best or the, the best decisions in the life of the family. The TV burned out. It was a black and white TV. Only two channels. That's it. But that was enough to waste the time of the kids. So one day, the TV burned out, and my father had to decide what to buy. And he decided that, there was, that they are not going to buy another TV. They decided to buy a little keyboard. A keyboard exactly like that. That was my first keyboard. I was 12 years old. It probably the cost was like a 40 or 50 dollars at the time. Casio, very cheap. My parents didn't have enough money. And the only book that I had at home with music was the Seven Day Adventist hymn book. My father taught me the name of the notes, and after that, I love music. And I pray, and I say, Lord, I want to be a pianist one day for you. But I don't have a teacher. I don't have a piano. The only thing I have is a little keyboard, exactly like that, and the hymns that talk about you. And I pray, please, teach me. And you know, miracles are not to be explained, are to be accepted. One year later, with that little keyboard and only this book, God made a miracle to help me to play the entire book. Amen. And that started a ministry in my life. The time is short. That will be for another concert when I share how God used later on in life. That keyboard grew up, grew up, grew up, and I grew up, and God revealed step by step that he has given music to my heart to serve him and to open red seas, to open closed doors, to make miracles. But you know, what would have happened if my parents had chosen to buy a new TV instead of a keyboard? Christmas is coming. Take decisions for your kids or your grandkids. Take decisions to lead them to heaven, not to put obstacles in their lives, but to help the angels and the Holy Spirit because they are struggling with their little hearts to take them and to lead them to Jesus' feet. Amen. So what are you going to choose for your kids or grandkids this Christmas? Pick something for heaven. This song speaks about we are the reason. God the Father and Jesus, they talk about and they say, you will be the gift. I said, I will be the gift so I can redeem them. So he can see you and he can see me one day in the heavenly dimensions.
One of my favorite moments every day is in, on my knees praying. And I invite you to wake up early in the morning and in the silence, listen to God's voice whispering to your soul. So I hope that this uh, song can bring memories to your heart in the garden. I want to finish this mini concert with my favorite song. One day, my parents bought a keyboard for me. One day, I asked the Lord for a piano, and he gave it to me for free. And now, I have asked the Lord for a piano made of gold with white keys, keys made of diamonds. 
and the black keys made of rubies. I know that one day, by God's grace, I want, and I pray that I can be in heaven, and I will be so happy to play a golden piano in heaven. So that's one of my dreams. So as we listen to this song, let's dwell. Just put a dream in your heart. What do you dream to have, to see, to touch when you get to heaven, the holy city?